We're now going to refactor the has light status method because this is pretty long at the moment. So it's always good to go back and just revise what we've done. So if we head over to our browser and we've already liked this status, we know that we're returned. We're using that method and it does work, but it could be improved. So if we just head over to our status controller and come down to the point where we're actually using this, let's just die and dump and just say has already liked. This will just give us a better idea of if we've already liked something, just so we know that the refactored has liked status method is going to work. So I'm actually going to get rid of all of this and we're going to do something slightly different. This is going to be a lot shorter and we're going to use this status's likes to check if the current user object ID is in there. And that may not make sense, but you'll see exactly what I mean in a minute. So we're going to say status, which is the status that's passed in. We're going to grab the likes. We don't even need to call that as a method. And then we're going to say where, and we're going to say where user ID equals this ID. Remember, this refers to the current object, so the current user. And then from this, what we can actually do is grab the count. We can cast that to a Boolean. And this line now has exactly the same effect as what we did before. It's just a lot shorter and doesn't require a lot of updating if we change our models around or anything like that. So we can check that this still works. If we head over to our database, what we can actually do here is we can head over to our likes and I can just remove this like here, head over to my browser. I can like this again and you see that works. When I click it another time, we see has already liked. So let's head over to our status controller, get rid of this die dump. And we've now successfully refactored this has like status method just to one line of very simple code.